Okay, happy Monday. Welcome back. Or for those of you that are new to my channel, hi, I'm Sunny. And I'm glad you found our channel. Before you forget, um, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you can keep up with the family. To all my other subscribers, welcome home. Hope you had a great weekend. I have to apologize that once again, I'm uploading this a little bit late in the Monday as far as mainland time goes. Well, Monday, um, for those of you that are new here to this channel, Monday is our story time where I tell a true story that comes from my life. Today I'm going to tell you a really, really strange story that happened in January of 1994. Um, and I had just, it was uh, in the evening time, we had just gotten our daughter off to bed. She was in sixth grade at the time. And um, it's, this is the beginning, I believe, of what was about to happen. Um, so, my husband was watching TV, and um, I went in the bathroom, got a bubble hot bubble bath going, and uh, got in, was relaxing with a magazine and a, a cold soda um, by my side, and um, just really kind of having a mom's evening of uh, I'm just really relaxing and while I was reading my magazine kind of in the back of my head I heard a voice whisper they're coming tonight and I thought well I don't know who they are or why they're coming tonight whatever and I just chuckled and went back to reading my magazine thought what an imagination what an imagination I got so, get ready, I'm very relaxed, go to bed, um, hubby lays down, we're going to sleep, and um, so anyhow, the next thing I know, I feel like there's, and I wake up, and it's the middle of the night, and there's two or three very short, maybe four feet tall, four, four feet, four inches or something like that, um, beings and really big dark eyes and big heads and they were all naked and I just freaked out and I hooked my arm around my husband's neck and, um, I just, I just held on for dear life, and I heard them thinking to each other. Um, one was confused and looked at another one that was a little bit taller, and um, I could hear them thinking that, what, you know, and he said, they never can, they never can resist us like this and the guy that he had said that to said just get her and I screamed out in pain because I had my one arm around my husband's neck like this just holding on for dear life and he the little creature had grabbed me under the arm in the armpit and he had dug his bony little fingers and their fingers are like really, really long and skinny and bony. And he had grabbed me under the armpit and just dug his fingers in. And I screamed out in pain. And then that's when I must have let go of my husband's neck. And the next thing I know, I was, I was in this place that looked like a warehouse. Um, it, because it was huge, very, um, I looked up at the ceiling and there was this thing hanging down from the ceiling and it was, um, multicolored lights and it was hanging upside down. I was remembering, I guess my mind was 
was racing trying to trying to put together what this could look like you know what how how would you try to make sense of what you're seeing because you've never seen something like that before and um the best we had just had christmas so i'm thinking well it looks like they had a christmas tree and they hung it upside down is the way it but it was like lights and really massive the um area i was in I am guessing that it was probably 20 feet tall and this thing came was hanging up in the top portion of that um, and I looked around and there was probably 50 to 100 other humans in there with me and we were all naked and I remember thinking it was strange that I didn't feel self-conscious and you could tell that everybody was like just staring and not, nobody was talking and nobody was looking at each other in the eyes and nobody seemed to be embarrassed that they were naked and you know it just was like something that I did and then I blacked out and the next thing I know I'm back in my bed and waking up in the morning and so I'm thinking this is just all a very weird bad dream and I go and I get breakfast for my family and I told them I had the weirdest dream last night and I told them everything that had happened and then, but I thought it was a dream. And then my daughter, I took, um, I was told her to go get dressed for school. And then my husband had to get dressed for work. And I went to go get dressed. And I would brush my teeth. And then I went to put my deodorant on um, under my arm. And um, when I lifted my arm, there was um, three little perfect circles, kind of small, like the tip of his finger, three of them dark purple bruises in my armpit where he had grabbed me. And all of a sudden, I thought, I thought, this wasn't a dream, this, this wasn't a dream, and so I was kind of freaking out and I like got undressed, you know, took my pajamas off and I was searching all my body and the only place that, um, I could see anything was right by my right ovary where it would be on my abdomen and there was about an inch cut and it was just straight and it was it was kind of deep um, and there was like a red line where it had been cut and the strange thing is by that night the cut was completely gone um, you couldn't even tell it had been cut that morning when I saw it. And um, then off and on through that year, I noticed that on my wrists, I'd wake up and um, I would feel itchy and I would look and there'd be this, um, not a cut, but like a pinch type, like the skin had been pinched and it made a scar in little little weird shapes on my wrist and um yeah so that's unexplainable I don't know um I have to say that two or three years later my daughter said that she had had a dream where 
these kind of gray little people came and took her to a big building and had her babysit this little girl that was blonde and kind of looked like a human but she had really big dark eyes and blonde hair that was really super thin and she said that they told her that that was her little sister and to watch her so I don't know what's going on um, I'm just you know I'm drawing conclusions because this is like so weird um, to have bruises you don't bump yourself hard you know we all make bruises when we're bumping into stuff but you don't bump into stuff deep inside the armpit where you put your deodorant and have like the three little dark purple circles that was those bony little long fingers was real circular at the end and um I don't know what the explanation is so um, I'm really relieved that I used to pray that please if they come again I don't want to remember I don't want to remember so I thankfully haven't had any kind of signs that they've been bothering me anymore but um, anyhow draw your own conclusions I have no idea there's no proof of course um, but I'll tell you what, that was such a freaky moment when I went to put on my deodorant and um, what I had just told my husband and my daughter, it, thinking it was a dream, it just like, all of a sudden it just zoomed in like, um, I can't, I couldn't even understand that this had really happened. It wasn't just a dream. So anyhow, we never know, right, what's going on out there. <laughs> but that's just my story of what happened to me in January of 94. So I hope if um, anything like that ever happens to you guys, I hope you don't remember it because it's really very frightening to be ripped from your bed. Um, yeah <laughs> anyhow um, I guess that's about it we're having a short story time today um, everybody stick with your weight management are you journaling and are you eating every three hours are you drinking lots of water are you adding more fruits and vegetables daily into your diet I've been doing pretty good um, I miss some of my um, little snacks in between meals and then sure as, you, as the day is long, um, that'll be when I'll overeat in that next meal. So really important for us to do that. And um, doing great with the water and doing really great with the fruits and veggies, um, buying things like cherries. We had cherries as a snack the other evening. Um, last night we had a ruby red grapefruit that I peel and we eat it like an orange for a snack in the evening um, last night. And of course we're trying to get over that peach cobbler. <laughs> ah, that's kind of a no-no to be making that. Um, but it sure was yummy. So anyhow... Um, love you all. Thank you for dropping by again today. And um, give me a thumbs up if this was an unusual and interesting story for you to hear. Um, and also leave your comments below. You know, you scroll way down beyond all the ads of the other things. You can't see this in uh, landscape. Uh, where the thumbs up is, um, you have to be in the standard mode where you're holding your cell phone straight up like this. Um, 
landscape, you have to get out of that to be able to see the thumbs up and to slide down where you can leave comments. Of course, all of you people that have watched a lot of YouTube, you know all this stuff by heart. But I am very aware, I guess because I'm new to some technologies, I'm very aware that every day new people that haven't used this platform are joining us and so we all have to pitch in and kind of help them learn the ropes okay so i love you very much you have a good evening you and the mainland are already having the evening us here in hawaii it's only about four o'clock so we're not into the evening yet so you have a nice evening and i will see you tomorrow okay Alrighty, bye-bye.